or as the member of NEC of ODM uh, on the Gashagua issue, I think this is a more uh, Kenya Kwanzaa politics that we as ODM uh, have no business engaging in. But I think that there is individual posture of every leader and every Kenya to ask about the rationale for having a deputy president um, that is bedeviled by a number of things. Where I'm sitting today as Eddie Okech, I'm a member of the Senate of Kenya. And as a member of the Senate, we are going to receive the impeachment deliberations, because it's an initiation that must be done by the National Assembly. The impeachment deliberations that are going to come to the Senate will come on the basis of allegations. And those allegations, the National Assembly will deliberate on them, and then it is the function of the Senate to be able to impeach. I believe that if they bring to us an impeachment that is founded on the basis of law and issues that are definitely of constitutional merit for an impeachment, the Senate will take charge and impeach. And if otherwise, the Senate will still be an, uh, a, a good uh, arbiter that will make sure that the impeachment is free and fair. But uh, as things stand right now, as educate, I haven't received anything or any communication from the National Assembly uh, with regards to that impeachment. Uh, but when it comes, the people of Migori sent me as a very level-headed person, a very fair person, and a very just person. I will do what is just for the people of Kenya should that impeachment come in the Senate. But when you elect me as a senator, or you elect MP, or women rep, all those people become national leaders because they engage in national discourse in terms of the laws of the country. The only seat that is regional is governor and MCA. So if you, if you, if you feel like uh, you are very good to want to be a regional leader or a tribal leader, you can as well be a tribal leader by going to become an, an MCA or a governor. That is, that, is, that is just my opinion. I don't want us to focus on only the Rigiji impeachment without focusing on the substantial issues that the Gen Z's of this country raised. Because if those things are not achieved, there's no way Kenya is going. There's just calm, but there's no peace at any given time. It's a very important thing that you must, you must understand. Whether you are elected in Kenya Kwanzaa, or whether you are elected in ODM, or WIPA, or the larger Azimio family, the Constitution under Article 94, all the way to 96, requires that the national parliament must be able to oversight the executive. So what we must do as members of parliament, both Senate and the National Assembly, is that we must constantly make sure that we hold the executive to account.